Global warming is a potentially serious problem. The question is what to do about it. Unfortunately, most of the proposals put forward so far, for instance, by the Obama administration and more recently by Congress, are likely to produce far more harm than the harms they're meant to prevent. In fact, they're not likely to do a lot about global warming. The Obama administration and Congress are offering policies that basically amount to energy taxes, but they're not likely to do anything for global warming. Fortunately, we have an alternative. Those are called no regrets policies. They're no regrets because they're things that we should be doing anyway, even if climate change weren't an issue. Among those policies is to expand the use of nuclear power. Worldwide, nuclear power avoids 2 billion metric tons of carbon every year. 700 million metric tons in the U.S. alone. Now, there are other reliable sources of energy, but they produce greenhouse gas emissions. Nuclear power doesn't do that. But it takes, on average, 10 years for a nuclear power plant to be built. Only four years of that is spent in construction, the actual building of it. It's six years of paperwork, of approvals, of public hearings, of bureaucrats reviewing the paperwork. Some countries, like Britain, are streamlining the process. They hope to go through the paperwork portion in 18 months. We should strive for that here in the U.S., to license and get nuclear power plants online in half the time they are now. Right now it's 10 years. Let's get them online in five years. Another no regrets policy involves reducing road congestion by introducing more toll roads, specifically roads that have what's called congestion pricing. It turns out that 25% of the drivers during morning rush and peak afternoon rush are for discretionary trips. They're going shopping. They're going to visit friends. They don't have to travel during those times. And so congestion pricing, pricing would make it worth their while to shift to another time. For those people who can't avoid those times to travel, they've got to get to work during that time, that just happens to be when they get off, well, it encourages them to carpool, to find mass transit, to take alternative routes. But regardless, it reduces the flow on the roads. And in fact, we have evidence that it works. In London, when they introduced congestion pricing, traffic declined by 15%, travel times increased by 30%, and CO2 emissions dropped by 20%. Congestion pricing works, we, could, we should start using it more often here. A third no regrets policy would be to encourage innovative technologies that change the way we use energy, that change the way we feed ourselves through the use of what we call an X Prize. The X Prize is an idea that was started in the 90s to encourage private space travel. Prizes, competitions, increase innovation, they encourage alternative ideas to solve problems. They bring a lot of good ideas to the, to the floor and we think that should be used by the U.S. government to encourage the use of different types of energy. Now the question is, how do you fund this? We don't want to do more deficit funding. We don't want more taxes. Well, we think that you should fund it through revenues from new offshore and onshore oil and gas production on public lands. Let a thousand ideas compete and give a prize at the end. No regrets policies are good for us no matter what the climate's doing, and they're good for us for other reasons, increasing our energy independence, making us use energy more efficiently, producing new technologies that will feed the world, that will keep our lights on, while doing good for the environment.